What's going on everyone? It's Cecile Suede from Diabetic Aesthetics and this video marks the second week of my cut. Now I know in the intro of this video it said May 3rd, so a little bit behind on these. However, I just don't want to keep providing you all with the same content week by week. So work with me here. I'll be catching up with these. So I'll be sure to put out eight of these by the end of my cut because it's an eight week cut of course. However, in this video I'm going to show you all the very start of my physique. First we're going to compare the very start of my physique when I started my cut on week zero and then where I'm at right now at the end of my second weeks of my cutting phase so we're gonna compare that side by side for around 30 45 seconds or so and then we're gonna move on to my physique comparison of last week versus this week so it's gonna be week one versus week two so we'll be sure to kind of discuss the changes on my physique discuss how I'm feeling and discuss you know why I made macro cardio changes and also towards the end of this video after we do the physique comparisons I'm going to give you all tips on how and when to adjust your macros and cardio during a cut because I know a lot of people might struggle with that hopefully that'll be very helpful to you all and hopefully this video gives you a lot more insight about this whole cutting thing and it helps you out on a deeper level if it did in any shape way or form please be sure to give it a like in fact pause the video right now drop a like really helps me out and I really appreciate it anyways hope you all enjoy this one I'll see y'all just a bit all right, so let's go ahead and start with the first physique comparison. So what you're seeing on the left side is when I first started my cut two weeks ago, I was 175.2 pounds. And then now to the right is what you're seeing currently. The end of my second weeks of my cut, I was 169.5 pounds. That was my average weekly weight. And total weight loss has been 5.7 pounds. And as you guys can see, it's actually pretty damn drastic. It's only 5.7 pounds. And my overall goal is to lose probably around 12 to 15 pounds. So I still have a little bit of a long way to go. However, it's crazy how much just five pounds can make such a big difference when you're at more of an advanced level as a natural lifter. So that's my physique from week zero versus week two. Now let's go ahead and fast forward week one versus week two. As you guys are seeing, the left physique comparison is at 171.7, which was last week. That was my average weekly weigh-in. And then from the right is my current end of my two weeks of my cut. And as you guys are seeing, a little bit of difference, not like a crazy amount of difference, but this is kind of like a realistic expectation, guys. You're not gonna see crazy, crazy differences or changes in your body during a cut week by week. I lost two two pounds though so we're gonna discuss my macros real quick I'm actually not gonna change things at all I'm gonna keep my carbs 330 grams 70 grams of fat and 210 grams of protein and then cardio is gonna stay the same at two sessions of 300 calories burned a lot of you might be wondering how are you losing weight and still losing weight that's because I took time and bulked up for a long time I bulked for 16 months and I took it slow so now my metabolism is really like built up and I can cut on a high amount of calories anyways that's my physique hope you all enjoyed that let's go ahead and move on. So that is my physique comparisons. Really hope you all enjoyed that. Got a lot of insight. I'm going to go ahead and end this video off by giving you all some tips on how and when to adjust your cardio and macros during a cut. I actually went ahead and wrote down all the tips I want to share with you all just so I don't forget any. But tip number one is going to be analyzing and comparing your average weekly weigh-ins. So if you notice, I always write down my average weekly weigh-ins and also my cardio and macro goals for the week and weight loss for the week on this journal. I keep writing down my weigh-ins every every single day. That way I can compare every single day. I could first of all do my average weekly weigh-in, which is just adding seven days worth of morning weigh-ins and then dividing by seven, of course, and then just comparing that week by week, see your net weight loss or whether you've maintained or whether you've even gained weight or not, just to know whether or not you should adjust your macros or cardio. And the second tip I wanna share with y'all is to understand how you're feeling and observe circumstances outside of your macros and cardio routine. So you know what, sometimes you might be under a lot of stress or maybe you're not getting enough sleep. Believe it or not, that type of stuff does affect your weight loss and your cut in general. It's not always all about your cardio and your macros. It is a large portion of that. I'd say 80, 90% of that is your cardio and your training and of course your macros. However, you know, maybe you're not pushing yourself hard enough in the gym. You're not going heavy. You're kind of half-assing your workouts. Therefore, you're not burning enough calories. You're not maintaining enough muscle and you're really not pushing your body to change or maybe you're not getting enough sleep. That was what happened with me, honestly, this week. I had final exams. I was doing these YouTube videos, all the social media stuff. So I was only getting like three, four hours of sleep at night 
and believe it or not that could really affect your morning weigh-ins and just in general how you're feeling you really have to understand how you're feeling mentally and physically and just really observe circumstances outside of your cardio and macros so tip number three is to look in the mirror so this is as simple as it sounds just go ahead look in the mirror see whether or not you're seeing changes it's not always about the scale and something I highly advise is for you to take pictures every week see how you're looking like if you haven't really lost weight however you seem like you've lost body fat you really could see the changes in your body then maybe you should just keep your macros the same things might budge a little bit in the next week or so or maybe you're just gonna be losing body fat kind of going through a body recomposition stage it happens to people you never know now the fourth and final tip is to take things slow Guys, you have every single day to cut. You're not in a huge rush. Most likely, a lot of you watching this, maybe like 95% of you are not like prepping for a bodybuilding or physique competition. You know, you're not trying to step on stage or anything. You don't have a set date where you need to be shredded or cut at. So take your time with it. You know, you wanna maintain the most amount of muscle possible. Take things slow. And you know what? Sometimes the smallest changes will make the biggest differences. If I'm not losing weight sometimes, I've maintained for about a week or two and I haven't really touched my macros yet. I'll just maybe add in an extra cardio session of around 200 calories and that'll make the biggest difference. My weight will start to drop like that or even adjusting my macros by maybe dropping my carbs by around like 15 grams or so. So just small changes like that will seriously make the biggest difference based off personal experiences and based off dealing with other people. So, you know, take things slow, make small adjustments and don't always feel like you need to change your macros and cardio every single week. If you're seeing weight loss at least half a pound to a pound per week, keep things the same and if in a week or two and things aren't really changing don't drop your carbs like 50 grams or add like two sessions of 400 calories per end of cardio you want to take things slow you want to keep as much muscle mass as possible and do things the right and efficient way remember nothing worth having comes quick and easy you got to work for it but at the same time you have to be efficient and take it slow anyways that's gonna wrap up my two-week transformation video i hope this kind of showed you realistic expectation of things when it comes to cutting and hopefully it helps you out gave you a lot of insight on how to do things yourself that's always what i'm trying to do with my videos and hopefully it's relatable to you hopefully it'll help you out and entertain you in any sort of way and if it did please do not forget to drop a like on this video i really appreciate it, it gets my videos out there comment down down below let me know if you're currently on a cut i hope you all enjoy this one be sure to subscribe to my channel got tons of epic content coming you don't want to miss out on it i'll see y'all in the next video